it's time to review. Upon clicking review, CISRAB will automatically serve an article for review. The prioritization of articles, or rather how CISRAB decides which article to deliver next, is actually based on CISRAB's machine learning models. To put it simply, CISREB delivers the article that it thinks will most increase its ability to predict in the future. The only default label on CISREB is the Boolean for include, as it is the simplest decision in literature review. Does this article contain the information that I am looking for, and does the article report enough information about the underlying methods that I can trust the data? Once I click yes or no, I am able to save the article, and CISREB automatically serves the next document. If you wish to review a specific article, such as from a specific source, you can always access the article and click manually add labels. If I return to the overview dashboard, I can see that all of the modules have been updated. While inclusion is a necessary decision, there are plenty of other data types to be extracted from articles, and for that we need labels. If you imagine a literature review as creating a spreadsheet where each document is a row of data, then the label definitions are the columns. Each type of label is unique in how it defines the information that can be extracted. The four basic labels available to every CISREV user are Boolean, Categorical, String, and Annotation. The last label type, Group Labels, allows for users to extract tabular data and is only available to CISREP Premium users. To learn more about Group Labels, check out our other videos. The Import Label button, when combined with the Share Label button, allows for labels to be shared and standardized across projects. Now let's make some basic labels. A Boolean label asks a simple true-false. Where are the bees angry? You can require an answer, which means reviewers must provide a response before saving. You can require user consensus, which means that reviewers must give the same response or else SysRev will store the article as a conflict. And you can designate an answer as inclusion criteria. That is, tell the user to only include articles with certain responses. In this case, I only want to include articles in which the bees were angry. Alternatively, categorical labels allow users to choose from a preset list of options. Once again, you can require an answer, you can require user consensus, and you can designate one of the available responses as inclusion criteria. Once again, we want angry bees. The string label allows users to give any response. You can still define the string based on character length and using regex. Still, string labels allow for the most variation in answer, so be cautious in how you utilize. Quite often, a string label and a categorical label can be used in combination, such as a string label for quantity and a categorical label with options for different units. Last but not least, the annotation label, which is in itself a combination of string and categorical labels. The annotation label allows users to highlight text within a document and then tag that text with a label option. Now that we have more labels, let's get back to reviewing. We can now see the additional labels on the left. As you may remember, we said that the bees had to be angry in order to be included. But if I select no for angry and yes for include, we can see that SysRev gives me a visual cue that I'm not being consistent with the expectations. Once I select yes for angry bees, the queue gives me a green light. Categorical labels work the same, except now I can choose multiple options.
And again, strings are strings. As I said, the annotation label works a little differently. First, I select the annotation label. And then I must highlight some text. Once I have highlighted text, I can apply an entity and save. And go back to the labels. Once I've finished all of the labels, I can now save. And Cicero once again delivers the next article. If I go back to the overview page, I can once again see that the modules have updated including adding the new Boolean and categorical labels. And if I go to the articles page and display labels, I can see all of the information. In this way, SysRev allows great versatility in the types and quantity of information that can be extracted. To learn more about how to utilize the basic labels, explore some of the other projects on SysRev. To learn more about group labels, check out our other demo videos.